This is the Geek 2.0 Podcast, and on this episode, we dive into services and devices to help protect and track your kids. Alright, so jumping into the main, very important discussion is keeping track of your kids. Yes. Especially with the, what we've gone through in the state of Florida and also in Texas with Harvey and uh, he, here in, uh, with Irma, the hurricane and storms, you know, everything just blows away and you don't want your kid blow away as well. Yes. Oh, and just the general chaos. Yeah. Even Even without the storm itself, preparing for the storm and the chaoticness. That was happening with the stores and stuff. It's very easy to lose track when you got a little one who's attracted to the shiny new toy when you're yeah, trying to get you don't water. Even, yeah, like you said, you don't, you don't even need a storm. <laughs> yeah, it's going down the aisle and then turn away for not even a second, and little Jimmy is mm-hmm. somewhere well, else. There's been a, there's been reports, and I'm sure it's always happened, but I don't know why. It's just been something that before the hurricanes came through was really big in the news feeds uh was uh you know child kidnapping and stuff like Mm -hmm. that and they were talking about it being in you know matter of teams yeah there's women involved and that it's people it's not just you know the shady dark spots where you think about it that it's happening right in you know upscale high-end neighborhoods and just people don't tend to think about it so with that in mind you got to do something to be able to keep track and monitor your children if they're not within eyesight yeah, and it's one of the things. Even if you lose them, there's still or uh, videos of the pe- people that just all grab them and just drag them down the aisle and out mm-hmm. the door. And you're thinking, what? You can't really think of what what the reasoning behind do this in a crowded shopping mall and trying to cry, um, shock and all type of situation. Well, and if the parents aren't around to see them get grabbed like that, excuse me. Uh, most people are going to look at it as it's just a misbehaving child mm-hmm. and the parents dragging them outside and, you know, and here they are crying and screaming. Yeah. The, the males, stop, 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 the males stop. dragging and they're crying for mommy and they think, Oh, well, the kid's just misbehaving. Dad's taking them outside, you mm-hmm. know, and they don't think anything of it, not realizing what's actually going on. And another thing is uh, coming up into Halloween. Yes. It's another big time where uh, the holiday season is just, uh, Halloween's like the gateway. <laughs> Well, there's all this because you have the costumes and you're mm-hmm. you're walking around neighborhoods. Some of them are unknown, depending on if you travel to go find the good places for the oh, candy. Yeah, find the good places for candy. Full size candy bars, man. Full size, king size. <laughs> 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 but you know, with all the costumes, and you know, it's very very easy. Depending on the costume you have for your kid, to mistake this one for that one. Again, you get into a large crowd, kids running around, or even well, you they start... get all the same costumes. I mean, yes. What, what's going to be popular now is uh, like minions or um, uh, Draculas or something. or even I mean, Star Wars Star for Wars. the slightly older ones. Yeah, you can have quite a few. I have like thirty Wookies as we're yeah. down the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Or Kylo Ren's with the mask, yeah. you know, it's very... Well, that's, that's, yeah, that's, the big one. that's why I was trying to think of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's very easy. Or even that, you got the theme parks. Oh, yeah. You know, where there there's people that are just standing around waiting to jump out and scare you. It's really hard to distinguish between someone who's an employee that's there to scare you and someone who's there for malicious mm-hmm. intent. Yeah, to snatch your kid. <laughs> and I don't know if you've seen... I know you've seen the uh, the parents. We've done it as well for uh, a little while with the leashes. <laughs> you know, I you, get it, but it still cracks me well, up. Well, in the back of your mind, you're thinking, okay... I. I it's a crowded place. Anything could happen. They can wander off and you lose sight with them like, like that. Mm-hmm. So you have a leash. But then in the back of your mind, you're thinking, why am I treating my kid like a dog? <laughs> They're on a leash. I got to take over to the grassy spot so they can go to the bathroom. <laughs> I mean, on that subject, something we were joking about earlier, if you're going to leash them, you might as well see if you could find a vet that can microchip them too. And then it just avoids all this. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you keep your registry up to date. <laughs> Don't forget spay and neuter. <laughs> <laughs> spay and neuter. <laughs> Thanks, Bob Barker. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's it's we try to make it keep it funny, but uh, it's not really a laughing matter because it's a it very is, serious thing. Yeah, it's and, a serious subject. It doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen. I mean, anywhere well, you can be, you can be in the most richest 
areas, gated communities, and something will still happen. Well, that's just it. You know, we you say it doesn't happen a lot, but unless you're really looking into it and researching it, it might happen more than we know. But mm-hmm. if you do start researching into it, then you're just going to freak yourself out with how much it's happening. Right. <laughs> so regardless, safeguards. <laughs> well, it, it, it goes back to, what was it, back in the late 70s, 80s, here on Halloween, it said, with the uh, razor blades and apples. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That probably happened once or twice. Yes. And all of a sudden, one small thing grew out of proportion. And then everyone's saying, oh, watch out for your apples because it has razor blades in it. I still don't believe that happened. I think my parents just wanted to get the bag first. What, for the apples? Bag of candy. They got to look through it. Well, they were using that as the excuse to check everything else. I don't think it happened. I think the parents were using it as an excuse (laughs) to get my candy. Well, they don't need excuses. They just go to the store. (laughs) You would think so. Hey, we do the same thing and say, okay, you can have (laughs) so much, but you can't eat all of this. And we sneak out. (laughs) <laughs> one or two or overnight when she's sleeping. And then by two o'clock in the morning, we're sitting in on a couch with a belly ache or totally, you no, know, like in a chocolate coma. <laughs> and there's no more candy left. And we're like, oh, man, now we got to go to CVS and get some more candy because she's going to be bad. <laughs> but yeah, it's just one of those things that you have to keep in the back of your mind mm-hmm. constantly. Is just one of those things that... You want to be at like a theme park and have fun, but you also want to make sure that you have your, your eyes on your kids because we've all seen those kids yeah. where their parents are letting them run the extreme opposite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're they're running the show. The kids are running the show. Yes. Well, and it's it's one of those things that brought up. That's kind of what brought the subject to our minds is obviously with the uh, advancement in technologies, things getting better, cell phones, smart watches. If the smart glasses ever make it off the ground, like they keep trying to, I say in ten years. Yeah, I I actually really enjoyed it. The price points were always just so high. I never really got into well, it. Well, fifteen hundred when Google Glass first <sighs> came out. That that was a, a and the design of them was a little funky too. I gotta give it. I that. only saw one in the wild. <laughs> Some guy was wearing it in uh, Lugger Central Park on the, the little train thing. Uh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hey, it's actually a Google Glass. See, I was so, at I was at MegaCon. I saw quite a few oh, of them. Okay. There. <laughs> well, it's more of like a uh, real world. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's fair. But anyway, so with that, you know, obviously there's apps on your phone and your watches. Uh, something that we had talked about uh, a while back. The uh, Samsung Gear S3 smartwatch mm-hmm. has a feature where if you push the, I believe it's the home button three times, will send out an SOS alert to whoever you put in your contact list and will auto answer any calls from that contact to your smartwatch. I thought that was a really, really cool feature and smart on their end to do something like Mm -hmm. that because it's very discreet for someone who's in an emergency or scared. They can just reach for their watch on their wrist and it just looks like they're fidgeting and they could three times and And there you go. And it's done. I thought that was a really smart thing, but it also got me thinking at the same time, if someone is going for malicious, they're going to look for those kinds of electronics, cell phones, smartwatches, and toss. Toss it to the curb. <laughs> Which does you no good. So that's what kind of brought up, well, what is out there for kids? Mm-hmm. There is actually a lot. I was looking, looking through a couple things. And a lot of the stuff you can buy, like at Toys R Us, uh, Target. Amazon. I mean, you can buy mm-hmm. anything on Amazon, so mm-hmm. to speak. Good old Amazon. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you said with the smartwatches because a lot of them are coming up. It's just not relegated to you know Apple Watch or Samsung. Mm-hmm. They're thinking because hey, it's it's a safety feature, mm-hmm. not just for kids, but also for kids, but for adults or anybody. Mm-hmm. Um, for the the contact emergency contacts, and even with. Um, uh, t- there's a little thing they call tile or something that you can yeah, put on your keys. Yeah, if you keys. lose your keys, it'll set, uh, start ringing your phone. Say, hey, you're leaving your keys behind, dummy. Pick it up. <laughs> or if you leave your phone, you have your keys, it'll ring your phone. <laughs> Which, on a completely separate side note, I get why they do it, but it kills me on ways when you pull into your stop and it has the child reminder to not you forget your kid surprised. in the car. That kills Kills me though. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many uh, news reports have we seen so oh, far, during, I, especially during again, the summer. I get it, but it doesn't stop it from killing me. Good. Well, God. humans are dumb. Yeah, stupid. Anyways, anyways, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, humans. <laughs> That's a whole nother subject. For yeah. 
But yeah, it's basically uh, any of these, especially coming up, uh, like 2017. It's we're in the future. <laughs> Ooh. In the year 3000, <laughs> is a lot of these devices or these manufacturers are actually getting on the bandwagon and say, hey, maybe this is a lucrative market that we're just leaving on the table. Mm-hmm. That hey, let's jump in. Let's jump into this. And for kids, I mean, it doesn't have to be. Um, like state of the art, as long as no. it works and, and, and durable, and yes, yeah, very. <laughs> that's <laughs> the important part. Is it has to be durable <laughs> because kids. I mean, it was just tear through anything <laughs> like butter. But right now, from what we've been able to see, that it seems like the majority of the stuff that's out there is some type of wrist band watch, something like that. I believe there's a couple of clip-on type items or like you were talking about before the tile where you could you know mm-hmm. kind of yeah you can put it on your somewhere. kids uh, belt buckle or something yeah. because that is it's like a, a crowdsource type of gps because it's only by i was looking at for because of what wife losing her keys <laughs> hopefully she doesn't listen and kicks my butt later but <laughs> i was going to get it for her it's expensive it's like 80 bucks but if you lose your keys lose your keys on the beach and other people that are part of the system, they'll ping on the map, and then you'll get a response or text or something on your end, say, hey, your keys are found here at such and such date and time. Hmm. And you can go and try and find it in the beach. And good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, most of the stuff is small because you can attach it to things. Belt buckles, belt loops, um, and then your kids' uh, shoelaces. I, that I've seen a couple of times where it's just on the... Uh... Oh, what's that part of the shoelace called? All the way at the front. The tongue? Yeah. Sure. No, that's that's the thing that goes in. Wow. Where <laughs> where you do the shoe wedgies. <laughs> that, that section. But anyways. That took um, up a jig right there. Yeah, that don't go, go on there. That's your problem. <laughs> but I've seen it where it's it's down there. The only thing is, is then they get back to that whole dirt. The shoe goes, goes and it's on, that's where it stays. When all of a sudden, kid gets picked up and... Shoes are going every which way, and then you're uh, basically back to square one. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of things are you know where it's wearables because mm-hmm. that's the big thing is wearables. I mean, like you say, what the smartwatch is, and I'm looking at one. It's the uh, Tenetel. It's, it looks like a, a cuff with a circle that a kid can uh, click on for two way communication. Looks like. Or that you're uh, the adults, so the parents can listen in, because that kind of you know that sends uh, alarm bells to me as well. You know, like the privacy kind of thing. Yeah, see that 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 listening in and all of that. There, there, there's lines. I understand they're kids and that you need to look still, out for them and all that, but you still gotta. There's gotta be some level of trust. Yeah, and privacy, and yeah. even though they're five, six, whatever. You're gonna be listening into your kids throughout the whole the you know, whole time. Yeah, not 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 so much of a fan. Not to say that that won't change in you know five years when my little ones that age. But as of right now, yeah, I don't I don't know how I feel about that one. Um, yeah, well, it is, like you said, it, this uh, this holds up to twelve programmable contacts. You can store numbers, um, and emergency numbers, and stuff like that. It's also a watch. Looking at, I'll, I'll put it in the show notes. It doesn't really look like a watch. I mean, it looks like you have to look at uh, little LED lights to figure out, but that's kind of hard for a kid to figure out at yeah. such a young age. I mean, you need a digital display. And it's at $130, sometimes at 150 That's a little steep for... Yeah. Well, you got, okay, you got to pay to play. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I can understand that, but... One of the things that I was looking into that I really liked was uh, with the there's actual shoes that have the GPS tracker in them, and I was finding those for less than a hundred bucks. And you figure you're going to get the shoes for the kids anyways. Like that's not well. Then yeah, you got to get a couple pairs. Well, I I understand that, but <laughs> it's already there. It's something you're already going to need. It's not mm-hmm. an extra item. The one problem is how you going to charge them. Well, and that's or keep them, let's say keep them charged. So there's there's two aspects to it, and I can understand. I could very easily pay devil's advocate for this, but um, for right now, I'm going to go with the raw raw. Everything's going to work out just fine. 
Here's yeah. your pom pom. Yeah. You ready? Thank you. Okay. Uh, so for starters, there's the one pair that I saw that have uh, it's done through induction charging, and they actually have a little base with cut not not cut out cutouts, but indentations of where you would put the shoes. I understand most of you probably going, yeah, the kids are not going to put them back on that base. Yeah, they can't put them back in a closet. Do you think I'll put them on the base? <laughs> <laughs> so here's here would be my other side of that argument. How often do you tend to clean up after your kids anyways? Uh, after a certain point, it looks like a tornado. <laughs> <laughs> and I start threatening that. I go throw everything away. <laughs> okay. So you do tend to you know pick up even if it's not crazy even if you force them to help you you're still doing it and this would be something that is going to be on your mind yeah you do know that those serve a purpose they need to be charged so you would and could very easily just takes two seconds to put them on the base and then you don't have to think about it or worry about it at the same time something that we were talking about is a lot of kids shoes nowadays are light up yeah, and and with the LED shoes, because I I actually wanted a pair. Oh, I first saw yeah. them at Disney World, and I'm like, I have to have some of those. <laughs> those are the awesome, most awesomest things I've ever seen. <laughs> but with those, you still have to plug those in and charge them. Mm-hmm. So, to a degree, kids are already kind of getting used to that kind of functionality. That if they want the really cool light up effect, they have to plug them in, cause an effect. Yeah, because so, a lot of stuff nowadays. Is like iPads or any kind yeah. of device. You, they'll use them until they die, and then they complain. Well, guess what? You gotta plug it in. Exactly. So if you take the two and you combine that, where you have the shoe with the GPS in it, that's also got the light up. Yeah. Kids are going to charge it on a regular basis, and you still have that safety feature built into it. Plus, unless it becomes very well known knowledge, which I, as of this point, and I thought it was actually better than until I was talking to Josh about this. <laughs> He didn't even know that the shoes were actually out there. Yeah, I didn't know. Because all I know is it's like the wearable, the watches, and the stuff like that. I didn't know is uh, tra- tracers in your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, that actually helps with the what we were talking about earlier, where they would take the electronics and could toss it. Mm-hmm. They're not necessarily going to be looking at the shoes as something that needs to be tossed or could be tracked. Right. Not to say that it still couldn't happen. or Well, we're not saying that every... Uh, child st- uh, taker is thinking on all right I gotta toss the watch I gotta toss the shoes have a little checklist uh, little I, gotta, clipboard. I gotta cut out the <laughs> microchip I gotta find the uh, spinal tap I got the chip of the spine <laughs> um, but it's still it's the more inconspicuous the better um, the quicker you can turn around uh, what brought it to my mind and this was forever ago i remember seeing an ad for shoes that did just this but they never really seemed to go anywhere uh but it was the same kind of gps Mm -hmm. tracker and uh the kid the the commercial was the you know the kid was at the park and was running off because he saw an ice cream truck yeah and so he ran off to the ice cream truck well the mom couldn't see the kid anymore she didn't know where he was so she pulled up the phone and was using gps and was walking through the park with the gps to find her child and you know sure enough you know found them everything happy ending right but that's what kind of you know that always stuck in my mind i'm like that actually really makes sense because not only for that situation but everything we've talked about already um so i was very surprised when i was telling josh about it when we were talking about this episode and i was like that surprises me that not so much that he didn't know about it, but that it wasn't more common knowledge. Yeah, it's where the things you you talk to other parents or any, anybody else that has kids, and that's not really on the front forefront of their mind. Like, which is which is fair. It yeah, shouldn't I mean, necessarily they, yes, be. It's, it, it is on the, our mind it's just in case you know kids were always watching for in the theme parks or something. <laughs> but is like the tools given that mm-hmm. are out there that we can actually buy is not really on the forefront of our minds. Mm-hmm. We're still pretty much stuck on the old ways, you know, lose a kid. Hey, Timmy, <laughs> Timmy, yelling throughout the crowd. Why? <laughs> Here's your butt over here. <laughs> I'm going to get, I'm going to whoop you. <laughs> Count to three. <laughs> All of a sudden a kid comes running over the hill. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Don't need no expensive, uh, new dad. Yeah. <laughs> It just it doesn't take much, and I know for me when my little one's gonna grow up, I don't. It maybe because I'm also somewhat of what you would call a prepper, not to an extremist, but I am doing that. So maybe that's why it's stuff like this does, that I does think your about. Little one have a little bug out bag now. 
Oh, she, she will. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few items, but not the bag itself. <laughs> A little uh, pink and white. <laughs> hey, you know what? If she carries it, that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's one of those things that it's not really on the for, for, uh, forefront of our minds where the tools and stuff like that. And that's what we wanted to do with this episode. You know, it's trying to ourselves, to um, educate ourselves. Mm-hmm. And then in turn, educate you guys. Help educate you. So, and finding different tools that, you know, with what we look at now you would think, no, I'm not going to look at that. I might find something better. That's completely on you. Mm-hmm. But at least it gets the ball rolling and gets you thinking and, you know, talk to other parent parents and say, hey, I found this and such and such and this is my help. Or Absolutely. What do you think? And as always, Google is your friend. It's oh, everybody's friend. It's my buddy. <laughs> and we will be, uh, the stuff that we have come across and found, we will be posting this. Yeah, it's it's going to be a long uh, show notes because I, right now I have like 30 pages. <laughs> or maybe we just put it on the website and put the show notes, have a link to it. Well, that's it goes on the website and everything. Okay. There all, we go. It's all linked, you know, it's interwebs. <laughs> Series of tubes. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's it's an important thing to you know think about, especially like like we said at the beginning, with the hurricanes that go through any kind of storms or any kind of bad you know juju that goes on in the weather, mm-hmm. um, Halloween coming up. It's a lot of times where our attention is not focused solely, but we're actually looking at other things going on and so distracted, even by that what's going on. Plus, looking at our phones and trying to take pictures and talk to other people it's just you know it's a crazy time of the year mm-hmm. well and i it's something that i wonder because aside from the shoes which has already been out there and you know possible glasses and anything else what i wonder what else they could possibly do or make that would be a big hit for something like this like going future wise looking into it what's something that our kids kids are going to be like this is what I need for my kids or, you know, for us, because we are going to be the crazy ones at this point for our grandkids here, take this, wear this (laughs) (laughs) old Pappy Joe in his rocking chair. (laughs) Nonsense. Like we, I've seen a lot of jokes about, you know, if you want to sell something, put Bluetooth in it, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't matter what it is. is Pretty much everywhere. (laughs) Put Bluetooth in it. What I'm kind of surprised is why not put GPS in it? Uh, well, a lot of like a lot of stuff I've been looking at has GPS. In it. Well, yeah, because we're looking for that specifically. But well, if future tech, okay, let's let's go into future tech. Um, are we going to be like injectables or? Yeah, that's that's a whole nother <laughs> series of. Now we're getting things. into Hollywood realm, and well, it's future tech. I mean, it is. It is. Let's, no, it's not even like thirty, forty years. More like ten, maybe fifteen years from now. Well, and that's just it. I don't necessarily disagree with it. What? Uh, <laughs> that big butt was coming. Yeah, it's always a big old butt coming. Um, I just I don't see it being adopted. I, I I maybe much maybe if the tech is there and is around and a slow adoption rate, mm-hmm. sure I can I can see that. And I believe we've had this conversation before about this kind of. Yeah, it's one is where. It's the thing that makes it tough for me is it's not a voluntary choice at this point. It's not where we're talking yeah, about so tattoos. Yeah. yeah, it's not like we're talking tattoos where it's going to be up to that person to choose what they want, or you know, cybernetics where they're picking, you know, or there's a medical reason for mm-hmm. it, or you know, there's not. It, this is something that you would be doing to well, you your just, child yeah, without you going, their consent. Yeah, you start going into a stigma of a certain thing, you know, like religious beliefs or personal beliefs and stuff like that. Like the, uh, what was that movie, I believe, with Robin Williams, where he was the editor of uh, their final moments. Like, when they basically, when they were a kid, they would get implanted with a chip that would record all their visuals and audios, and then they would find out about the recording when they turned 18. And then when they died, there was a career where people would take their entire lifespan and make a memorial video that would be shown at their funeral of it. I have... I should know this, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've got a couple of friends that listen to this podcast. They're going to be yelling at me going, it's theirs. <laughs> but anyways, it's along those lines. Like it, obviously in the movie, they didn't touch on that because that wasn't the theme of it. But mm-hmm. it's something that I looked at going, I couldn't imagine being a kid and finding out later that, you know, your parents did this 
to you. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you had off, no choice. Yeah, because you're you just came out and you're you're just born. All of a sudden, you're being injected or whatnot. Well, at the same time, I guess I am. Now that I think about it, I am kind of being hypocritical about this. My wife will probably yell at me for it. Um, but I guess it kind of goes along the same lines of piercing a girl's ears. True, because there's there's a lot of back and forth on waiting until they're old enough to understand what's going on mm-hmm. and you know having it be their choice to pierce their ears but at the same time and, and I'm one of these people where I'm like let's do it early while they're young because they won't know or they, it won't it'll take a couple much. of minutes yeah it'll take a couple of minutes they might upset but this way we can take care of it they're not going to pull it out you know while they're young enough to not be able to do damage yeah and it's healed over by the time they are. And then if they don't want it, you take it out. And the hole's closed up. Done. A year. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I guess, you know, I am being kind of hypocritical in that sense. Well, I think we can all be hypocritical at, for one thing or another. I mean, it's just, it's, it's actually who we are. <laughs> let's, let, let's just say that's who we are. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, let's go ahead and jump into the main topic. All right, and the main topic is actually we're going to look over some of these devices um, that are out now mm-hmm. uh, and try to figure out you know, what's good or bad. What actually is it? Would you pick one up or would you just toss it to, into the trash? Or is it something that if you did pick it up, does it have any lasting capabilities or is it just going to become another gadget that just gets used for a week or two and then sits sits so you joe you said with the shoes so mm-hmm. you would pick those yes uh any re- other reason why because with the uh, portability because with the gps on the shoes you don't have to have a second thought about it well that's that's as long as you keep them charged which i guess would be the biggest hassle with mm. it um and also with them being older, this would be kind of a tough thing to do with the kids, especially because I know there are kids out there that like to take off their shoes. They just don't like having shoes on. Um, so, it, again, that's where that personal preference would have to come into play and the child themselves and how they act with it. But I just to me, it seems like it's, you're already going to buy shoes for your kid. Like, it's just something that's going to happen with school, with everything else. That is a piece of clothing they are going to own. So why not have it be something that adds an extra function? And a, not only an extra function, but a safety function on top of that. Right. And if it's something that you're aware of, then you can be the one that makes sure that they are fully charged on a regular basis. And there you go. They're covered. As long as they keep them on, everything's fine. Um, but again, with your side, they can be... Not necessarily expensive, expensive. I think I, when I was doing my research, I was finding some for like 50 bucks and they were under armor. And that's armor. not too bad for a kid's shoes. That yeah, was and in, what, under armor. Yeah. yeah. So they were, they were, you know, a brand name shoe that had the GPS in it for 50, which wasn't horrible. But then there were some that did get up to like the 120, 130 range. Well, yeah, you start going to the designer spec. Right? <laughs> yeah. So it just depends. And then you also have the the flip opposite of that where you have the, the cheap knockoffs, you know, which I don't do. Which, they really I'm surprised work. that like Reebok or Nike hasn't really thought of say to try to break into this market see and that's that's a whole nother they might have kills me uh they with all the smart smart shoes Mm -hmm. in doing the research for this i was coming across stuff that had to do with the trainers oh okay where it was coming into that um and how the the technology like it it started building and then just dropped off and like people were just cleaning them and tossing them out of their closet um the other side to it they do sell not only the shoes themselves but they sell insoles Okay. That you can put in the shoe. See, that, that actually has would, that, that capability. would, that would, uh, because you don't have to worry about getting new shoes and mm-hmm. then have, I guess, register a new GPS device mm-hmm. because oh, you don't want to be tracking your shoe. It's in this landfill somewhere <laughs> or on some other kid, <laughs> else's kid. Yeah. So you can be tracking your, these insoles, which actually be better. I'm, in my personal opinion, they'd be better because you can just toss away the shoes, put in the insoles, and call it a night. But then you have to worry about the, the comfort. Because now it's not yeah. built into the shoe itself. Now it's that separate piece. Are they Dr. Scholl's? <sighs> no, they were not. <laughs> but the one thing that the insoles did tell, tell, did state, um, was that they were also used for elderly. 
okay. for your Alzheimer's, dementia, people that tend to And that's wander. on the other side of the spectrum because not only tracking the kids, tracking our older parents, because mm-hmm. we know dementia and Alzheimer's, and especially in the state of Florida, we see it all the time. The silver, silver alerts. alerts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, we laugh. It's, okay, it's another silver alert. It's every day. <laughs> but it does. It, it does happen. Yes. It's, and it's somebody, not kid, but parent that, you mm-hmm. know, hey, they're, they went off wandering. So this also takes care of that part of the spectrum as well. Yes. Now, when I was looking at a couple of things here, I was looking more of for, um, like ease of use, you know, for the kids and be like stylish or something that, hey, maybe the kid will like it and also cheap. Yeah, because <laughs> if they like it, they're going to wear it or use yeah. it. Absolutely. And, and they kind of like it's like a badge of honor. So one I was looking at is my buddy tag. Okay. Uh, you never know, remember, like, uh, it's my little buddy, you know, the doll and stuff like that. Chucky. Yeah. Yeah, Chucky. <laughs> but this tag is not going to go out murder spree. <laughs> just, just wait till Hollywood puts a spin on it. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. It's <laughs> next year, I'll get a series of movies. <laughs> well, it's basically, what it's, it's, it's very comfortable when looking through on this, and it's very comfortable for the kids to wear and they really don't um, notice it because you can also do simultaneous tracking. Because if you have a couple kids, this is the most important thing. If you have more than one kid, mm-hmm. you can have this and you know where Billy is, Susie is, and all of your other brood is. <laughs> really busy there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, some people are. I know, I know. I mean, they're called crazy. <laughs> well, yeah. You got the quintuplets and oh, that's a whole nother. Yeah. <laughs> But you can you can track them simultaneously, and you can identify each tag by name using an application that you download on your phone or something. So it's a separate app that you use. Yeah, it's a separate app that you have. Okay. Um, you don't have to worry about battery because it lasts a while. It's, it has a lithium battery. It's probably it's I think it's one of those um you know watch batteries, okay. little silver dollar ones. You get up to a year. Now the cons of it is that it's only got forty feet indoor range. Ooh. Um. I think that's because of the Bluetooth range and stuff like that. But it also has a GPS tracking. It can tell where your kid is on the map. So it uses Bluetooth to monitor their whereabouts. And it's basically another point is it's waterproof. Okay. So they definitely, can go swimming. They can keep it on and they don't have to worry about it. Definitely a plus. But you're saying that the, the battery's got a year life, which is awesome. But what happens when the battery dies? That well, I couldn't really figure out if it's, you had to get a new, something new. But this is when I was looking at the picture... Um, it seems that you can pop it off. There's a little cover and you can pop off. And Okay. I have, to, I have to do a little bit more further re- researching on it, but it seems like it'd be easy to replace the battery. What's the rough cost of something like that? The rough cost is 40 bucks. All right. All right. So, I mean, it's, 40 it's bucks kind of a, a throw year. Away. Yeah, 40 yeah. bucks a year is not horrible. But again, if you're talking into that, having a litter... That can get kind of that can if, get if kind of expensive. If your last name is Rabbit, and you have, <laughs> not any knocking. If your last name is Rabbit, <laughs> you can send your email to Joe. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, forty. That's that's actually not not too bad. No, now, do they come in different colors and styles? Yeah, mostly it's like in a boy or girl colors. You know, pink or blue. Okay, okay. So we're we're not going to get into the whole. Gender, for, you know. Well, <laughs> do you want to go on? That no, route? no, I really don't. I really don't. <laughs> How long do you have? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's one of those things where I was looking at. It, it's okay. It's it's cheap enough. You can almost think of it as a throwaway. Mm-hmm. Where if it does get damaged, you're not out over a hundred or two hundred dollars, and you're crying at your kid. Why did you break the watch? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. I guess the other question is, what would, in your opinion, what would you think of that compared to like that tile that you were talking well, about? Well, with the tile, I think basically, if you're let's let's just put it this way: if you have a bunch of kids, and you know, we all know how kids are; they are not wardens of keeping things great after a while, mm-hmm. unless you distill it into them that this is your your device you have to take care of it if you damage it or lose it it's gone Mm -hmm. barring that it's i think this would be better because with the tile that is at 80 bucks um starting out and there's other add-ons that tack on now you're looking at 150 dollars for um 
looking within the house or anything like that. Um, with this is a simple, quick forty bucks. Slap it on a kit, and you're done. Okay. Very cool. Um, now, don't they actually have some kid smart watches? They do. I was also looking at there is um, with the smart watches that are coming out now is the Ambi Gear smartwatch. It kind of looks like um, like a Tamagotchi. Yeah. <laughs> I, I looked at this. I'm thinking, okay, how it's it'd be perfect for you no know, like little kids' fingers poking at the icons on the pit on the watch itself. But for an adult, I don't think you'd be hitting a single thing. You'd be hitting like two at a time. <laughs> I mean, it does kind of seem crowded. A little. Yeah. So that's that's. I looked at that and I'm like, I don't know about that. They say it's it's a gamification on it. It has a reward system. They the kids can collect points. For activities that they have that the parents have set up that they can late, later exchange for rewards. Hmm. So there's that part. Okay. And it has a calendar app, uh, learning activities. Uh, the one problem is distracting. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, in the school it can be distracting with any watch. I mean, even at work, I'm distracted with a phone or <laughs> not doing anything. <laughs> Shh. Shh. <laughs> I didn't say that. That was somebody else. <laughs> um, it also it has like it's, it has a GPS locator. Um, they can your kids can locate you if they feel worried or unsafe. See that I like. So it's like a two way street that I like. So that's the Ambigear smartwatch. There was another one. Um, I'm just quickly looking through. There is a couple. There's so many of them out there. I know there are some that you can. This one here, the Angel Sense. It's a uh, another watch or something. I don't have a picture on it, unfortunately, but you can, it has an option for you can listen in to what's going on around your kid. Okay, and that's again, what we brought up before yeah. with the uh, privacy concerns. I don't know about that because also has a thirty second update because it can tell where your child has been up to with uh, diary logs that can input data every thirty seconds. I mean, where you're having your go outside and you're like, Hey, where's my kid? And you got to figure out, okay, where's my kid been up to for the whole day? That's kind of, you know, over. Seems like a lot. Yeah. It's like a helicopter, helicopter parenting. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather just, if I'm thinking about it or worried about it at that moment, I'd rather want to know where they are at that. Moment. Yeah. Not throughout the whole day. What, what did you do? what did you do? what did you do? I could care less where they've been in the neighborhood as long as I know where they are so I can make sure they're okay. Yeah, and you, you give them a bath because they're covered in mud or whatnot. <laughs> With any hope, because kids nowadays don't go outside that yeah, much. They're it too seems. clean. <laughs> I mean, what's the immune system supposed to do if you don't get dirty? Come on. Come on, kids. Ugh. Tell your kids to go outside and in get my dirty. day! <laughs> <laughs> now, these are just on the cheapy end of things, relatively speaking. It's more for like the kids, you know. The smartwatch with the, uh, the one I showed you earlier. Um, if you go on the other side, you know, with look at the gear, Samsung gear. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking in the two, three, four hundred dollar ranges, or the Apple Watch Series Three, which just came out. Yeah. Uh, actually, it'll be coming out. Uh, it'll be out by the time this episode airs. <laughs> um, technology, technology, it's wonderful. <laughs> but a lot of those are take part. Of what we already talked about, but and increase it into a different thing. Now, well, that it, it works though if yeah. you start getting into your older kids. Slightly, would, yes, that's you're true. more responsible. You're maybe preteens to early teens because they're not going to wear one of these bright red plasticky no. things <laughs> and going into middle of high school. <laughs> no, not at all, not at all. But when you start getting into that aspect of it, uh, then you could also look into or might want to look into like your your car monitoring mm -hmm. your odb2 plugins yeah will... and there's plenty of them i've yes. seen that where you can plug in and it's all gps located knows the speed of the vehicle's going and all the other stuff that you, you... can set up a, a range and if it goes outside yeah. the range it emails you and so you can call up your son or daughter say hey turn around <laughs> 
You're not going out the lover's lane tonight. <laughs> yeah. You passed the railroad tracks. We talked about this. Jimmy is not. S- stay on this side of the eighth mile. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just one of those things that we have all this stuff that we can do that with great power. Or, what is it? Great responsibility. With great power comes yes. great responsibility. Or as the sign of my neighborhood puts, with great power comes a great electric bill. <laughs> <laughs> Old people jokes. <laughs> wow. You went there, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> well, yeah, with like any of these devices and stuff, it's what you have to figure out of what you want to go with. Absolutely. What yeah. you feel comfortable. If you're the type of person that needs to know what your kid is doing every second of the day, what, the, what you want to listen in to their conversations at school well, and you may school. And, you know, we, we talk about it being, you know, a privacy thing and something that we're like eh, about. But you may have a legitimate reason to need to do that. Yeah. And, I mean, worst case scenario, I mean, God forbid your kid is taken. Mm-hmm. What do you do then? I mean, there's plenty of things out there you call it cops or anything but the major thing you want to do first is get your kid uh fingerprinted with an up-to-date photo mm-hmm. i mean this is like, um the more you know or, or oh, well they were doing of uh, show segment <laughs> i remember them doing that with us back when i was like in elementary school mm-hmm. where they would have the fingerprinting and i don't i don't remember if they did anything in my daughter's school it's, it's kind of weird that i can't remember that I don't know. I just I don't think they have yeah. the only reason I remember is I I had this little button that said that like it was like it was a little cheesy little thing. It said like I'm Thumb Buddy or something like yeah, that. Yeah, or you had like the uh, McGruff the Crime Dog. Yeah, yeah, you know, you got that after you got fingerprinted and all mm-hmm. that stuff. That's the only reason I remember doing it. But that's before you even get all these devices or anything or even think about it. What you want to do first is just go to the website missingkids.com. This is the missing center for missing or the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. It's basically you go there, it's free. It's, don't Always you have a to plus. Don't have to put any dollar or anything <laughs> out. Download the kit, which is two pages. Actually one page is the important part, is you stick on a photo, fill out the information, put your kid's thumbprint on it, fingerprints and everything, and that's it. So in case something you did your your kid is missing. At least you have something that's a uh, relatively new photo and mm-hmm. information. Oh, and it's something the police have to... To help you find your kid. Yes. Within the, the golden 24 hours or whatever. I forget what it is. But it's it's a scary thing that you have to actually think about that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, and that's kind of the whole point is if something like that, to have these kind of technologies or these, we'll just say things... Um, it helps expedite the process yeah. of finding or at least narrowing down the search field. Someone goes lost. You now don't have to search the entire state. You're now located to a neighborhood. Yeah, a neighborhood or two. And yeah. And it's, it's something to help you, your peace of mind and all that sort of stuff. Absolutely can make a big, big difference. I mean, all this stuff that we gave you, I know it's a lot. And it's a lot of stuff to, to let sink in. But it's definitely worth looking into and thinking about. Because the last thing that you want, just as if with any natural disaster or hurricane, mm-hmm. you prepare before so you're ready after. You're ready after, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, and then one of the things is that, um, like I said, if it's a lot to take in, I'm going to have all this information up on the website and links and uh, stuff that we've talked about, uh, our reviews and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so you you can look at it if you say oh that's a whole lot of wash and you I want to do it my own way well hey at least we appointed you into a, a good direction and in all honesty if you do feel that way tell us because it may be an angle that we're not even thinking about or yeah. it could be useful to other parents we would love to hear about anything if you are already using it your experiences with these items. Or, like we were just saying, if there's something else out there that you use or think would be useful, tell us. Yeah, I mean, it could be anything. Uh, physical device, wearables, or service, like the Mich- uh, Missing Exploited Children Foundation. Anything that you can tell us, just let us know. Maybe you hire a pirate investigator to follow your children 24 hours a day. Yeah, seven you get days Jessica week. Jones on the case. I mean, whatever works for you, <laughs> but let us know because that's a different angle. Yeah, so let us know. Uh, We'll have all this information on the website and we'll let you take it from there. All right, and thank you for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode.
Thanks for listening to this episode of Geek 2.0 Podcast. Be sure to check us out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash geek 2.0 podcast. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter at geek 20 podcast. Don't forget to visit our website at geek20podcast.com for older episodes, news, and much more. And make sure to subscribe to our podcast through your favorite podcatcher player of choice. The Geek 2.0 Podcast is part of the Collective Network. 